गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद जुनेद सिद्दीकी वेलकम इन द ब्रिज डिज़ाइन एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट दिस इज लेक्चर टू ऑफ स्टील ट्रस्ट एनालिसिस बाय यूजिंग आईएलडी एल डी कंसेप्ट इन लेक्चर वन वी हैव स्टार्टेड द एनालिसिस ऑफ अ लेटिस गडर ब्रिज फॉर अ ब्रॉड गेज रेलवे लाइन ऑफ दिस ट्रस्ट एज वेल we have analyzed the member u2 u3 u2 l3 and l2 l3 the forces of this members are as shown in this table now we'll analyze the section 22 now we'll analyze the member u1 u2 u1 l2 and l1 l2 in this lecture we'll start with the member u1 u2 so when unit load is in the region al1 that is lhs of section 22 so origin is a and the limit is 0 to 5 meter so when unit load is in this region so that time the right hand side of the section will take for the calculation so the calculation will be simple here we had to determine the forces in the member u1 u2 so we'll take the moment at l2 so x by 30 into 20 plus f of u1 u2 into 7.5 we'll rearrange the term so we'll get minus x into 20 divided by 30 into 7.5 so at x equal to 0 here we need to draw the influence line diagram for member u1 u2 so for that we need to determine the ordinate of that diagram so at x equal to 0 since origin is a so at x equal to 0 what are the ordinate of ild diagram so ordinate is also 0 at x equal to 5 the limit was 0 to 5 so at 5 meter the ordinate is minus 0.444 So now we'll keep the unit load in the right hand side of the section two two. The limit is ten to thirty meter. So here also, for the sake of simplicity, we'll consider left hand side of the section two two. So here also we'll take the moment at L two. So thirty minus x by thirty into ten. Plus f of u one u two into seven point five. So we'll simplify it. Here limits are ten and thirty. So at x equal to ten meter, we'll get ordinate as minus point eight eight eight. And x equal to thirty meter, the ordinates are zero. Now we'll draw influence line diagram for force in member u one u two. So the ordinate at x equal to 0 ordinate at 5 meter is minus 0.44 ordinate at 10 meter is minus 0.888 ordinate at 30 meter is 0 so here this complete influence line diagram is in compression now next is to determine the forces in member u1 u2 due to dead load as well as due to live load so force due to dead load is area of ild into dead load area of ild is minus half into 30 which is the span length into 0.888 the highest ordinate of the triangle into 21.1 which is a dead load on per girder which we obtained in the previous lecture so force due to dead load is minus 281.05 which is compressive force due to live load is area of ild into load into cda so cda for 30 meter span is 0.372 as well the load for the 30 meter span is 2727 kN on per track so we need the load on per girder so we'll divide it by 2 because each track carries the two girder 
so load is 2727 by 2 divided by 30 2727 by 2 is the kilonewton force so we need the intensity so we'll divide it by the 30 span length we'll get the intensity into area of the ild into 1.372 since here we increase the load by 37.2 percent due to impact so we'll get the load here 830.2 kilonewton with negative sign that shows compressive force so now we'll feed the data in the same table so member u1 u2 the forces in the member due to dead load is minus 281.05 that is compressive force again force in the member due to live load is 830.6 so total load is 1048.65 so now we'll move to the bottom chord member l1 l2 so again same steps will follow here when unit load is in the region al1 that is lhs of the section 22 and the limits are 0 to 5 meter so for the sake of simplicity we'll keep here the right hand side of the section here we'll take the moment at u1 so summation of m at u1 is equal to 0 x by 30 into 25 plus f of l1 l2 into 7.5 so we'll simplify the term and limits are 0 and 5 meters so at x equal to 0 we'll get the ordinate for this member ILD diagram is 0 at x equal to 5 meter the ordinate is 0.555 now we'll move to the right hand side of the section 22 when unit load is in the region L2B the limits are 10 to 30 meter we'll take here the left hand side of the section for the sake of simplicity again here we'll take the moment at U1 so 30 minus x by 30 into 5 minus f of l1 l2 into 7.5 so we'll rearrange the term we'll get 30 minus x into 5 divided by 30 into 7.5 limits are 10 to 30 meter so at x equal to 10 we'll get the ordinate as 0.444 at x equal to 30 the ordinate is 0 now we'll draw the influence line diagram so at x equal to 0 the ordinate is 0 at x equal to 5 the ordinate is 0 0.555 at x equal to 10 the ordinate is 0 0.444 at x equal to 30 the ordinate is 0 now we'll determine the forces in the member l1 l2 due to dead load as well as due to live load so force due to dead load is again area of ILD into dead load so half into 30 into 0.555 into 21.1 so we'll get here the force due to dead load is 175.66 kilonewton force due to live load is area of ILD into load into CDA the CDA remains same 0.372 and the load is also same for the 30 meter span 2727 kilonewton so load is 2727 by 2 by 30 into half into 30 into 0.555 into 1.372 so load is 519.13 kilonewton since load is positive so it is tensile now we'll feed all the data in the same table so l1 l2 and a l1 remain same here so l1 l2 force in member due to dead load is 175.66 kN and due to live load is 519.13 kN total load is 694.79 kN now we'll move to the third member of this section u1 l2 which is diagonal member so same when unit load is in the region a l1 that is lhs of section 22 limits are 0 to 5 meter here also we will consider right hand side of the section 22 here we need the forces in the member u1 u2 so now summation f of y equal to 0 so x by 30 plus f of u1 l2 will resolve this member vertically upward so it is f of u1 l2 into sin theta we know the value of sin theta 
in a previous lecture we obtained it by trigonometry so sin theta value is 0.832 we'll rearrange the term so f of u1 l2 is minus x by 30 into 0.832 we'll simplify it so f of u1 l2 is equal to minus x by 24.96 the limits are at x equal to 0 ordinate is 0 at x equal to 5 meter the ordinate is minus 0.2 when unit load is in the region L2B, that is RHS of section 22, limits are 10 to 30. So, here also we will consider left hand side of the section 22. Since here we have kept the unit load in the right hand side of the section 22, so for the sake of simplicity, we will consider left hand side of the section 22. Summation f of y equal to 0, so 30 minus x by 30. Here, this inclined member will resolve vertically downward. So, minus f of u1 l2 into sin of theta will rearrange the term. So, f of u1 l2 is 30 minus x divided by 30 into 0.832. So, we will simplify it. f of u1 l2 is 30 minus x divided by 24.96. So, at x equal to 10 meter ordinates are plus 0.8 at x equal to 30 meter ordinate is 0. So now we will draw the influence line diagram. So here at x equal to 0 the value is 0 at x equal to 5 meter the ordinate is minus 0 0.2 at x equal to 10 meter the ordinate is 0 0.8 at x equal to 30 meter the ordinate is 0. So here we will see the here we will see some portion is in the negative side, some portion is in the positive side. That means this side will give the tensile effect, this side will give the compressive effect. So these distances will get by the similarity of the triangles. So this distance is 1 and this distance we got as 4 meter. So now we will determine the force due to dead load as well as due to live load. So force due to dead load, area of ILD into dead load. So we'll obtain here first the positive and negative area. So negative area is half into the base length for the negative area is 6 meter 5 plus 1 is a 6 meter. So half into 6 into 0.2 will get it 0.6. Positive area is half into 24 into 0.8 will get it 9.6. So area of ILD is 9.6 minus 0.6 into 21.1 so we'll get 189.9 kN tensile. Next is compressive force due to live load is negative area of ILD into load into CDA. Since the length for the negative is 6 meter so here the CDA and the load will not same as in the previous cases. So CDA is 0.15 plus 8 divided by 6 plus L. So here length is 6 meter. We will get the CDA as 0.817. As well for 6 meter we will get the total load is 838 kN. So here the force will be 838 by 2 by 6 kN per meter into 0.6 into 1.817. So Compressive force due to live load is 76.13 kN. Similarly, we will obtain tensile force due to live load. So, CDA for the positive span length is 0.417 and the load for 24 meter span length is 2280. Hence, tensile force due to live load is 2280 divided by 2 by 24 into 9.6 positive area into 1.417 so we'll get it here 646.15 kN. So now we'll feed all the data in the table so U1 L2 force in the member due to dead load is tensile 189.9 force in the member due to live load is compressive as well as tensile so compressive force is 76.13 tensile force is 646.15. So total compressive force is 76.13, total tensile force is 836.0.